All right, y'all, what's good, everybody? Um, my name is Gabriel Grant. I am coming to you live from my house during quarantine. Uh, today is a very special day. It is 420. I hope y'all all are enjoying, vibing, chilling, relaxing. I mean, this could possibly be one of the most epic, laid back, dope, hype, whatever you want to make it 420s ever. We are all in the house. We are all chilling. Um, and that's really all you want to do on 420, be in the house, chill, do whatever you want to do and, um, enjoy. So if you don't know much about me, uh, me and my wife, we have a podcast that we do together. It is called Push to Love, uh, where we talk about our inner able relationship. I am a C456 quadriplegic. I am incomplete. You do see me standing up. Um, I think if I move this, you can see like my back rest of my wheelchair. Um, I will probably sit down during the video. I might, I might not. I'm trying to get, you know, my exercise in, even though I can't go to the gym right now. Um, but what this video is for you today, I wanted to give you some of my tricks, tips, and tools that I use to, uh, indulge in cannabis, in marijuana, in weed, in the ganja, in the good stuff, the kush, the gas, the smoke, whatever you want to call it. Um... So let's get to it. Now, I am going to start from the simplest uh, to, the, to the more uh, you might need some things to help you with. Now, just for pretext, I am incomplete, but like I have like, that is my hand function. Y'all can see that. Um, just for context for individuals who are quadriplegics, like man, he is super able-bodied. Um, I'm blessed, I am, but when it comes to my hands, I need help and assistance with a lot of things. I can't open a lot of packages. Um, a lot of stuff is still difficult for me. Um, and I still require help. I think we all require help, but you know, ours is just more obvious and upfront. Um, but with all these things, like I try to make it so I can do it all by myself. So I think I want to start here. This is the easiest, um, and uh, most, you know, accessible way that I know of right now um, to have cannabis. So this is a pen. I'll come closer so you can see it. It is wax in there. This, I believe, is a indica. No, this is a sativa, a sativa wax. Um, and if you don't know the difference between in indica and sativa, one is an upper, so like, it's more for during the day, like right now, I still got work to do. I still got stuff I want to do around the house. I want to be functioning. Um, so it's for that functional daytime, you know, mellow, um, give you good vibes, that creative, that creative space. Um, that indica is more of a, hey, at night, let's chill. Or even during the day, you know, just I want to chill. I might take a nap. I might just sit here and watch a movie and pass out and wake up look at Netflix judging me like, hey, are you still there? And I'm like, you know I'm still here. This is a this is a pandemic, we all here. Netflix, you need to quit asking me this question, making me feel bad about being a good person, staying in the house. But I digress. That was me and Netflix. I was venting. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was me. I mean, you know, take a little hit. But so this one, one thing I love about this is depending on where you are. And again, this is like, of course, look up your local and state laws. I'm not like if you're not in a state that you can't smoke weed, I am not endorsing y'all to break the law. I have my medical marijuana card here in Arizona. Um, so don't come for me. <laughs> Make good decisions. Uh, but if you are in that place, so this i love it is is extremely simple extremely easy um what i can do is i put my mouth here and i just you know you just get a little bit of smoke and then if i want to change the cartilage i just grab it with my teeth and i twist just like that and then i just a little bit of twist on here This is where my pinching claw comes in handy. 
bam. I can change it out. I can charge this. I actually have the charger right here. It's like a little black thing. And then I just connect it to the iPhone charger thing or a USB, whatever charge thing. Plug it into the wall. To this part, I'll actually show it to you. I'm gonna show y'all how easy this is. I be getting impatient with how slow I gotta do things sometimes. Bam. But you got it. You plug this into the wall, the little end will light up, depending on what brand you got. Um, I got this from a dispensary here in Arizona. It's called the Mint Dispensary. Um, but there are pens all over the place. You can find them. This is not vaping. I'm not, I'm not judging nobody. I'm not huge on tobacco though. Um, so like even some of the other products you'll see me use, like there are no tobacco, uh, you know, no tobacco use for me. Um, I'm kind of, I used to smoke cigars. I'm kind of leaning away from it. Um, just cause you know, you learning, maturing. I still like a Cuban every once in a while. I'm not perfect, but yeah, so that's, so then all I would have to do is undo that and plug it back in. So that is the first um, choice. One thing I like about this is you can do it. It doesn't really have that bad, um, the weed smell. And I'm not saying the bad, cause some people like the smell of weed, some people don't. Um, this does not, you don't have that smell. Um, it gives off a different type of fragrance, fragrance, uh, just depending on like what flavor you use. I think this is lemon. It's really great uh, lemon drop, and I love it. Um, it's not what I do most of the time, but like if I'm on the go and I can't carry certain things with me, you know that's what I'm gonna go to. All right, the next option I'm gonna put y'all on game, which I you know most some of y'all 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 may notice. And let me again, I am not a cannabis pro. I am. Let me come close to the camera. I am not a cannabis pro. I do not need y'all cannabis pros being up in my thing like, well, this actually does this and that. I'm not here to say I'm a pro. What I'm here to say I am a pro at is finding accessible ways to do things as a quadriplegic. That is my goal in life, to make things easier for people. Um, one of the sayings I live by is I wanna be, I wanna help people um, be as independent as possible, but still be in there for them. Um, so anyways, the next thing that I like, um, that I'm still learning to control is edibles. This is uh, like some peach rings, but they're like the watermelon peach rings. I will tell you, be careful with edibles. Be careful. <laughs> Do not be like me and eat a whole edible when you don't know how much you can handle. Like, I am the type of person that I like, I like to get rid of, to alleviate my pain. So like, backstory on why I started to choose cannabis um, over um, other options. Um, when I was first injured back in 2009, I broke my neck and when I was in rehab, they were like giving me Oxycontin and all these different types of pain medications to kind of manage my pain. But the thing about it was I was still in pain and they're like, okay, we can up your dosage. So then they upped the dosage, but then like I was not in pain, but I was out of my body high. So it was like, I couldn't function. Like I was, I was like, just, I've never been that high in my life. And I didn't like it. Um, so I was like, you know what? That was back in 2000 and the beginning of 2010. I got hurt at the end of 2009 in November. So being in rehab, I was like, yo, I'm kind of done. And they was like, nah, you shouldn't go cold turkey. I was like, uh, I'm gonna just go cold turkey. Um, again, I'm not telling y'all this is medical advice for anyone else. This is my journey. This is my progress through the years. So I just stopped taking pain medicine and eventually you know years went by i started playing wheel wheelchair rugby i started traveling flying all over the country all over the world and like my tightness and my my muscles like they really started to um need attention 
So I, I, I really had to do a search, a deep dive, dive search like into how I can manage it without taking pain pills and muscle relaxers. Now I'm not here to say I don't ever take pain pills and I don't ever take muscle relaxers. I do. Um, when it's, when you have this excruciating pain, sometimes that spinal cord injuries get, like sometimes you need something that's just gonna get it, like just alleviate it, you know, all together. Um, but I don't, I, I try not to make it a routine, right? I try to find natural, more healthier ways to, to take care of my pain. So one of the first things I did is I really started to get into massage, massage therapy. Um, and I got a routine. Um, and you can do your research on myofascial massage therapy. Uh, you can call the good people at Care Granite. Shameless plug. <laughs> As one of my companies, uh, we provide home health care for individuals uh, like myself, quadriplegics. But then also we have services like uh, massage therapy. And we're also looking at other services that we can bring to help people um, kind of get rid of some tightness and spasticity and all these different things. So anyways, I started to look at that. Massage was really working. Then I started talking to some of my friends that I play rugby with and they were like, man, I, I smoke weed. I, I do cannabis. And I had smoked before in my life, but never in the sense of I'm doing it for a purpose. Like, I, it was like, oh, I want to get, you know, let's get high. Um, but then I started to do the research on it, especially, you know, now I'm a new person as a quadriplegic. I'm not the able-bodied, you know, 18-year-old that I was. Um, so started doing the research and I was starting to figure out and like read really good things, talking to people who have been doing it for years. Um, I feel like every person as a quadriplegic, you should have someone like in your corner, a friend, a mentor, whatever you want to call it, um, who's been a quadriplegic longer than you. I got like OGs in my life that have been quads for 30 years. I'm, I just passed a decade. I just passed 10 years. It's some things that like I'm not going to know because, man, I'm, <laughs> I'm a baby. Like in the course of a life, like I'm a baby in this. But then I also have people that I help out that have been doing it for, have been in a chair or been a quadriplegic or a paraplegic for two years, three years. And it's like, we all need levels. It's levels to this and helping each other is the greatest thing. Um, so anyways, I started to indulge in this, but I found like it's hard for, I was never a really good blunt roller anyway. So it was even harder as a quad. Um, so then I had to depend on someone else to do it and then like, you know, people can be inconsistent. Um, so, you know, finally I had to find stuff to do it by myself. So long story short, that's how I got here. I found all these different methods. Um, but yeah, the edibles, I, <laughs> really like do your research. Small, like I'm telling you, okay, so a crazy story. I took one of these and I was gone. It took like three, two and a half hours to hit. I was almost about to eat like another piece. Thank God for my sister. She was like, don't do that. Just wait. Just wait. I'm glad because it was this struggle. <laughs> but anyway, so edibles, do your research, find out like how much you can handle and go slow. There is nothing wrong with going slow. And I'm preaching to myself, <laughs> go slow. This ain't a sprint. Like Nipsey Hussle said, just a marathon, right? Um, our health, our overall health, it is a marathon. You ain't gonna learn this over a day. Is you not gonna get the perfect science? There are gonna be times where you go too far. There are gonna be times where you don't do good enough. Um, you know, you just gotta do that, do that test and trial until you find your perfect medium. So, anyways, you know, you could do this. I am not about to take a bite of this. I have stuff to do today. And they do have this at Indica Sativa Hybrid. Um, so, I mean, what's this? This is a, this is an Indica. So I'm definitely not, no, no, no. But like, they got different ones. These are like the Sour Patch Kids. These are, those are the peach rings. You can do them in brownies. You can do them all, like, responsibly. Um, so, I'm gonna drink a little bit of water. 
I hope y'all been drinking y'all water, especially during this pandemic. The best way to keep your immune system strong is to keep water in your system. One of the one of the great ways, your body is 70, I believe like 75% water. Gotta replenish it. All right. Um, the next way to you could do it is a, um, a one hitter. So um, what you do, you fill the one hitter up right here with the cannabis and I will actually show you. So this is the flower. I'm trying to make sure I just don't got no like information on it. Okay, nah. So like that's the flower, it's the packaging that come in. Um, Y'all probably gonna pause that and see where I get my my good stuff from. Mint dispensary. Y'all can hit me up for an endorsement deal. <laughs> um, but so yeah, so this is the flower. So you pretty much you can just uh, break it down, and I like the way they bring this because it's already kind of in chunks. You just break it into a few smaller chunks. Um, that's what I forgot. If you can't, um, if you do not have the hand function to break that down, like I do, so I actually forgot my one thing that I have, um, my grinder. You can, I have a grinder, it's in the other room, but there is also, it's like other ways to do it, but, ah, so I do have a grinder in the other room. So you can use a grinder, get that, grind it up. Uh, fill, fill that up. Let's get that stem out of there. You don't want stems. Uh, don't, don't, there you go. Get out of there. Flower growing. Be nice to me. Bring me flowers. <laughs> so, you just fill it up. And... The one thing that I have still um, struggled with finding, and again, I'm, I have zero problem showing y'all my imperfections, or not in my imperfections, but like my still struggles, like I'm not perfect yet. So I don't have like a super good lighter. Um, so quadriplegics, my brothers, my sisters, if y'all have lighters that you like, use, love, hit them comments up. I appreciate you. I appreciate you right now. Um, but you hit it up, you light it, and then you one hit. I'm not gonna hit the one hitter right now. I'm gonna save that for later. Um, but like this, I just have a like a, a regular kitchen lighter, candle lighter. It has like the, they say it's baby proof, but I really believe it's a conspiracy because it's um, cripple hand proof too. But anyway, so you just do that and you see. Okay, there we go. Fire. So yeah, um, you do that. So that's the one, the one hitter. Not one hitter. This is um, one hitters are smaller. Then you just pack a little bit in. But I've always called it one hitter. What's the what's the again? Smoker community. Cannabis community. That's what I'm gonna call y'all. Cannabis community. Do not come for me in the comments. Hate will not make us closer together. All right? Just correct me like in a nice way. Talk to me nice. Say, hey, it's this. I'll be like, bro, sis, thank you. Appreciate you. Now, this, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This is my favorite. So I'm trying to make sure I did everything else. This is my absolute, y'all see how excited I got? This is my favorite toy. It is called, um, it is called the Auto. It is from, um, the people at Banana Bros. The Auto comes in a package like this. Banana Bros. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's mixed, but yeah. It is, they call it the perfect cone at a touch of a button. Quadriplegics love the touch of a button. 
So as a quad, this is my favorite because I love cones. Um, again, like I said, I don't mess with tobacco as much, especially mixing it with my cannabis because I'm taking something that's good and making it bad. Um, so what I use is uh, Banana Bros do have their own and it actually comes with a box of cones, um, king size cones. So you can like fill it up and everything. I personally like, um, so Banana Bros, you are a great company. If you would love to work with me, I would love to work with you and we can have a great relationship working together. <laughs> but <laughs> as of right now, I love to use raw. Um, raw cones and these are banana bros and raw they're pretty much the same I just I just personally have used these um, so yeah they're made with hemp um, so the papers are made with hemp so it's you know uh, safe there is no bleach there is no dye no chemicals in there so you not ingesting all that bad stuff in your lungs um, so pretty much what you do you just there we go I was gonna talk stuff. I'm like, don't embarrass me in front of my friends. So you get one of these cones out. That's what it looks like. Let me bring it close for y'all. And then with the auto, let me sh show y'all what it looks like. It's very small, it's very compact. You can take the head off. It's very easy. And then it has like an inside part. Insert the cone, bam. Can I push it down? Bam. So now the cone is on the inside of that. And then with the auto, there's like a little button right here. You push it and you open it. And it has like this artificial intelligent like grinder. So it doesn't have, you don't get any stems, you don't get any Seeds, like you only get the flower. They know what we want. Um, so then actually since I'm not, so then you get the flower and this is, yeah, this is what I want. I'll actually do this. Now again, like I said earlier, less is more. One thing you do want to do is don't fill it up all the way because you don't want to overfill your cone. So pretty much what you do is you just put that on top of there and then you just close it. You'll hear that little click. You put it back on top of this and then you push that button. That turned it on. So you'll hear like, Ch -ch -ch. so it's like a grinder. It is a grinder and you'll hear the Ch -ch -ch. and then what you do is to get it going. Damn. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's filling up. Perfect. So then what you want to do is kind of give it, what I've learned is give it a little tap so it can come back down. Um, also, there are in this, uh, in this bucket of cones, they come with like a compactor. So you can compact it. So you got a nice tight roll, but like it's still in there. So you just kind of push it down. Not too much, cause you don't want to break your, break your comb. So then after you, I just took this off. So then you can open it back up and like everything is pretty much gone. It's a little dirty, I need to clean it, but it's super easy to clean. It has instructions on all that. Inside the box, it has like a little cleaner and everything. Highly suggest this thing. Five out of five stars. Um, so instead of doing this, I'm gonna just, the flour that I had in there, I'm gonna just put the rest in there. Okay. Close it, put it in, one touch. Now 
Now I'm doing this like super slow because I don't want to overfill it on camera. So, you know, I want to do it the right way. So it can come out to like a perfect fill cone. But you can do it a lot faster than this. But for purposes of helping others, I'll do it a little slow. And today, we ain't got to rush, right? We ain't got nothing to do. We ain't got no jobs. Name that movie. If you can't name that movie, what are you doing in quarantine right now? Name that movie in the comments. At the 26th minute, I want to see all the all the references. Name that movie. So then you close it again. So it doesn't matter if you put it backwards, forward, either way it's gonna work. Perfect. Wait for it to finish. I like to shut it off when I'm done, cause like I don't wanna forget that it's on and then it die. Now one thing I've learned, easy way to do it, is like, pick it up, push this little bottom part. You see that? Ooh, I like it, yup. Video stuff. So then it use, it's easy if you got the claw like me, just bam. Now this is probably the most difficult part because what you essentially have is a, a cone that is full, but is not like twisted. Twisting can be a hard function to do, and even I sometimes do not do it the best. So, I just grab it with the pincher, claw that boy, and then <laughs> gotta wind it up like a like them to toy soldiers back in the day. And bam, we have. A perfect, perfect 420 comb. And I will indulge. So at this point, 27, 28 minutes. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share, comment, tell me how you like to take your cannabis and what you like to do on 420. Because, hey, it's 420. We all in this together. Let's roll one up. Smoke one together. Let's, let's hit the pin together. Let's take an edible together. Whatever we do, even though we are apart, we can still be together and do this in the community, in the can in the cannabis community. I didn't I didn't make that up. It was just it was catchy. I'm sure someone else said that. But I hope y'all enjoy. Have a good 420, y'all. Peace and love. Push to love. If you want to follow us. Follow us on all social medias. Push the number two love. Again, that is push the number two love. Uh, we hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I definitely enjoyed. I mean, enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you enjoy yours too. Um, and I can't wait to see you next time. All right, y'all. Bye.